Hey guys, it's Jessie from Jessica Dirk's Equestrian. So I am back with the Performer Ride Part 2. Now I know I said to everyone that I was going to do it in two weeks time, but it's actually three months later. So I can say that I have given these jodhpurs a really good workout. Um, I've been riding in them three to five times a week. Um, it obviously depends on the weather, it depends how dirty they get. Quite often, if it's just uh, a bit of dust or muck from the stables, I'll just, when I jump in the shower, I'll just put them in there, give them a rinse off, squeeze them out and hang them up to dry. I won't actually give them a full wash. Um, and then I, they're pretty much ready to go by the next morning, which is really good because um, I, I use my stuff. I don't have a lot of products, but I use my stuff over and over and over again. <clears throat> and when I find something I love, I just gravitate to it. And I really do love these jodhpurs. Um, the lighting has give it, given it slightly a pale... Sorry, guys, I'm losing my voice. The lighting is giving it slightly a paler look, but it has definitely kept its colour as per the first video. Okay, so I just popped in a photo from the first video. If you haven't checked that one out, please go and do so. It is below this one, a few videos down. Um, so I just want to go through the things that I've noticed and the things that um, I like, the things I was a bit unsure about, that sort of stuff. So the first thing I have to say is that in the time that I've ridden in this, the um, logoing, and the silicon on the back has not come off. That was my biggest concern was that, well, I'm going to be wearing these a lot. I'm going to be hand washing them. I'm going to be chucking them in the machine because I'm lazy. You know, they're going to cop a pounding. Um, will the silicon come off? No, in the three months that I've had it, it has not come off, which is really, really good. So they still have a really nice professional look. They're not half peeling and I don't have to just use them for when no one's going to see me. So a little bit disappointed in myself um, that I didn't realize, but uh, within the first two weeks of wearing these jodhpurs, I was opening up a jump boot and actually the Velcro... Uh, got attached to my leg, which you can see here, and actually pulled the cotton. It hasn't, it's undone it a little bit, which is a shame. Um, but that, obviously, I've been riding for three months with that now, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, that was really disappointing. And I did actually, as soon as I saw it go down and stick, I ripped it straight off. So it wasn't like it was sitting there, but it just, it's pulled and loosened the cotton which was sad. Um, pocket still works perfectly. Nothing wrong with the pocket. Everything sits in there. I do not lose anything. I can ride with a little lip balm, with my phone, with uh, my big, I've got a big pot of lip balm. It stretches. That looks funny, but nothing comes out of that. It is really, really good. It's so the most disappointing part I found um, and it's only just shown up in the last eight to ten rides and I'm talking I can ride one to three horses and be working about three from the ground I can teach one to five lessons um, walking for about 45 minutes a day so it's getting a lot of use <clears throat> is that the crutch seams have started to peel so this is directly under my hips, under my thigh, uh, between my legs, it's actually started to peel, so I'm trying to pull it up, and it's lifting, it's not undone, but it's starting to lift, um, and that's, that's a bit disappointing, because to me, that says that it's copying too much wear and tear, um, and at this rate, I don't know if I, they're going to last me a year without having to re-sew myself, which I can do, but you know, for the price you pay for it, you want a product that's going to last a long time. I have to say, I did not overheat once. I'm a person who gets hot very easy. I didn't overheat once. They have been so comfortable. Like I said, they've been my go-to pants. But yeah, that was a bit disappointing. The other thing is with the waistband, it's not folded over at all, thank goodness. They've actually attached it to the top of the waistband. I hate 
when they put elastic in and it folds down and you're continually trying to shove it back up straight. But with the use of, you know, as expected, the elastic is starting to um, warp. Now, when I put it on, I can't pull them at the moment, but when I put them on, it sits beautiful, flat, it sits normal, but obviously it's starting to show wear and tear too with the warping. Um, you can see how it fits on me on the very, very first time I put them on in the last video. Okay, so I flipped these over and I wanted to show you the silicon at the back. And obviously it goes down the leg. Now, um, really, really happy with this. It has lost a bit of its tackiness, but in no way, shape or form has it lost the tackiness completely. Um, when I first got them, I actually thought they were probably a bit too tacky for my liking. I'm someone who is quite happy to ride in um, leggings, so like Kmart leggings, uh, because I think it really, it makes me really work on holding my position. I can't rely on things. Um, and my normal pairs of jodhpurs are just uh, suede knees and they've got nothing else and I, I fully work on supporting my own body in the saddle. Um, so with the washing and the cleaning, the tackiness, I don't know if you can hear that, the tackiness is gone, but it offers just enough that I stay secure when I'm riding the young stock or when I'm riding an a awkward movement. Um, but it's not now hanging me into the saddle. So if you like that really, really grippy, stuck feel, um, these are starting to, to not have that anymore. But for me, they're still fabulous and they will still be my go-to. So overall, I absolutely love these jumpers. There are a few disappointing things, but obviously I'm to expect that with seams on the outside. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more.